Mm, another miracle from dollar store uh, so actually dollar store always uh, never actually stop amusing me and this time i thought this is some sort of garbage but when i clo looked closer this has turned out to be truck pixel something really similar to tile if you know what tile is uh, so it's a little bluetooth thingy which actually you can put on, on things and it helps you to locate them interesting eh uh, i don't know much about this particular one is it some sort of knockoff or is this some kind of failed kickstarter or whatever hell it is i gonna look this truck pixel truck pixel clearly those dudes have owned up and things like that but i'm not gonna install anything i'm not even gonna try it i'm gonna open it first yep I know it's probably gonna work. By the way, in uh, in a local dollar store, it cost four dollars. Uh, now packaging is actually pretty nice as far as four dollar go. Let me open this. I don't know how to hell open. I'm gonna break it. Is it no? It doesn't open. The, oh, here, open this way. Ta da! So packaging is nice. It looks like it's a bit more solid than just four dollar kind of thing, Canadian dollars. So we have thingy and we have some sort of what it is. Yeah, well, what the hell is this? No oh, adhesive thingy and user manual. Go away. User manual. So user got very, very kind of cheesy and barely. You need like a magnifying glass to actually read all this crap. A setup guide, turn Bluetooth, search, uh, anyway, so just say install the app essentially and turn on the Bluetooth on your phone. Okay, so thingy itself. It's pretty tiny. It's pretty tiny. It's like 22 millimeters, probably 24 millimeters in diameter. I understand it has beeper, it has sticky tape that you can probably just stick it right here and attach it to like something. First pro probably re remove this kind of line yard. So yeah, you can just attach it so like, like this and it's gonna beep. Okay, so it also have close open, so let's, I don't know how, but let's try to spin it. It spins. Obviously, it's not waterproof if it just like freely spins like this. Yeah, how would I? There's not much grip here in order to actually spin it. Is it already in open position? Yeah, no, it's hard to tell. To chintzy. How do people supposed to rotate it? Huh? Curious. <laughs> uh, mm, yeah, no freaking way. Well, there is a way. There is always a way. Yeah, it is this thing, of course. Okay, oh wow, it's a super thin CR2016 3 volt lithium battery. Love it. Okay, ah, also love the contact. Okay, check this out. You see that? So this, the, the battery holds on this side by the spring and it just, it just, it lies on a PCB just like that and it makes contact of, uh, via those wheels. That's pretty cool, pretty neat idea. Like it, like it. So, so PCB looks like extremely tiny and I would need some sort of tiny screwdriver. Let me find something small and sharp. Okay, and this can, this I think is gonna cut it. To poke this PCB out of here. 
Hmm, it's not gonna be that easy. Maybe we will attack it from another end. I'm just curious what sort of... Mmm, this is button by the way. Turn out to be... This is a button and also indicator. Pretty nice. Doesn't want to come out that easily. Oh, curious if it's glued. You see this rolling stuff all over the place. So I'm, I'm looking. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it did it. Okay, finally. Ooh, see some electronic goodies. Yeah, they chipped out on antenna. Mm-hmm. Instead of ceramic antennas, they just plop this like piece of wire. You see that? That's so not good, but whatever. <clears throat> okay, so here's button. So I'm not sure if I was right about uh, indication because I don't see any LEDs around it. So yeah, my bad. Is it like anti-tampering device or something? Look at this. And there's another one here. What the hell? Huh. Clearly. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I was wrong. Look at this. This is piezo electric beeper. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but that means I have to make sure I put it in the right way. Not like this, not like that, but just the right way. So, let's take a look at electronics here. A little piece of... Little piece of okay, well, it's just all lifted together. Tape covering the chip. Hmm, don't know why it's here. And what do we have here? A uh, 51A22. So, National Semiconductor, as far as I understand. Let me check much closer. Mm, where is my? Oh, I'm just not really sure if you're gonna see it, but it's N51822. This is, uh, I think it's National Semiconductor part. Um, yeah. Also, there is a, some uh, chip just right beside it, uh, which I don't really know what it's supposed to be. It it says P8904DUA7G. <laughs> there is a two um, resonators here, uh, like this one and then that one. And then a whole bunch of passives and two few diodes. There is one LED actually over here, and that's it. Oh, and over here. And over here, there are three LEDs. Okay, one, two, three LEDs. Yeah, this Bluetooth antenna is like... Mm -hmm. Nothing on the back side. And that's it. Let me decode what is this guy. Let me write it down. So what do we have? BT beacon. beacon. Okay. N51822. It's Bluetooth. Probably plus some sort plus some sort of microcontroller MC. And the other guy is P8904. P eight nine oh four. 
Let's uh, this little guy had four factor of some sort of um, gyro or accelerometer, but it, I don't think I don't think it is unless it has some feature to detect uh, vibrations. Um, yeah, that's I, I, I have no idea what it can be. Let me check. I'll be back. All right, I got some more info. First of all, I was a little bit wrong. This is not national. It's a Nordic semiconductor. It's NFR. NRF 51A22, so it is Bluetooth, a low energy plus microcontroller, which is 32-bit um, ARM M0 CPU. So it's not bad. 256 kilobyte of of uh, uh, ROM and 32 or 16 kilobyte of RAM. It's not bad. You can do something about it. So this dude, or this little one, P8. Uh, 904 turned out to be piezo uh, driver so because this little thing it has this little piezo driver so someone need to drive it and apparently this dude can provide can somehow manage to drive it at 12 volt and this is a specific dedicated chip from diodes incorporated to drive to drive this piezo driver that's it that's it and it runs at, at about one my heart I think this is yeah, I'm just checking those uh, resonators here. It's really hard to see whatever they are. Let me check. Yeah, bloody hell, I see nothing there. Well, one of them is 16 megahertz, another I didn't really see. Anyways, doesn't matter. Unless it's have some sort of divider. So, this is what we have. Okay, so I'm curious if I would be able to put it all together. Because don't remember where the board, how bo a little PCB should be inserted, either this way or that way. Anyways, so this is the beacon, essentially. Um, no, yeah, I didn't did it turn it on. I just took it apart. Um, it probably works. Um, yeah, I'm curious if you can actually install any sort of a tracking application. It doesn't have to be their specific application or anything can work. But this is as simple as it can get. By the way, also I tried traced those two pins. I'm not sure about all five, but those two specifically are for flashing and debugging. Uh, those are dedicated two pins, number 23 and 24 over here. So. Again, not sure what kind of debugger I have you have to use with this little device, but this is what we have. I can try to take a look um, if I can do something about it, but what I even found uh, found it doesn't even have uh, i square i square c or anything uh, anything like that uh, right in the, in the default configuration. So there is a dedicated programming pins, not even serial, nothing else like that. So. Which is which is okay. That's understandable, but it's kind of make it harder because potentially you may need some specific debugger which would work with this particular chip. Um, I can try put it together and power it up. Give me a second. So after putting this thing together, it didn't show any signs of life. So I suspected something like this. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah, this is 0 0.06 volt. Yeah, yeah. this battery is gone like a long time ago. Curious, how and when this product was introduced? Then it was sitting on a shelf for so long that this battery is gone Huh? Curious. Anyways, so now I see why this crap is sold in dollar store Because this battery is gone. So in order to actually this thing to operate I need to put new battery and they decided to just ditch it in dollar store and sell it for four dollars What the jerks? Anyways, uh, let me put I think I have the, those those sort of batteries. Let me try 
So, after installing new battery, looks like this thing come to life. So now I understand, I, I probably repeat myself, now I understand why those guys ditch um, those, uh, whatever it is, trucker pixel um, to dollar store and sell them for cheap. Well, uh, I don't know what was the original price um, because b their batteries are dead and in order to actually replace the battery you have to fiddle around with it. Um, also, I noticed that online there is a, a slightly different version of this trucker so I'm not sure if this is like a dumbed down version of it. Um, but it seems like there is different version which is look more like a solid piece maybe even waterproof anyways i'll i'll do a little bit more research on it and i probably attach it to this video but so far this little dude beeps like that blink some lights over here i guess it's in pairing mode because obviously i haven't um, i wasn't able to attach it to any kind of phone or anything like that uh, also it looks like it's not as you know chintzy software as I mentioned before, so they're up uh, according again according to the web looks a bit better than I thought. So maybe I'll, g I'll give it a shot. And if this thing operates uh, well, I probably you know get more things and fix them up. Uh, get those 16 millimeter, um, 1.6 sorry millimeter batteries uh, and replace them. Uh, also, you can buy them at the same dollar store. Yeah, some. Sun Life brand? No, not Sun Life. Something like that. Yeah. Anyways, the cheap brand, but it's probably gonna last not as long, but still. Um, gonna work a treat. <clears throat> So I'm not sure what year is this model for, still didn't do enough research, again I'll try to add this information to the video, uh, but this is, yeah, this is all we have about this, let me show you a box, about this trucker pixel uh device sort of device uh okay guys i think this is pretty much it for today and um, thanks to dollar store we have another kind of fancy thing fancy it's not fancy another um cheap thing to play with and uh, uh fulfill our curiosity so thank you guys for watching see you next time please like and subscribe if you like this sort of videos